In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce lag in all the mods 10. Now, there's multiple reasons why this could be happening, but one of the main culprits is entities and certain blocks that are causing the lag in your game. So what you want to do in order to actually check which blocks are causing lag, please load into your world. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up options just like so, then go ahead and select on controls. Then go ahead and select on keybinds. And what you want to do is you want to locate the section called observable. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Okay, yep. So here it is. So here is the section called observable and it will say show profile screen right over here. And you want to go ahead and set this keybind to whatever key on your keyboard because we're going to be using this tool in order to actually stop the lag. Anyway, so once you went ahead and set the keybind, I set mine to O, but you can set it to whatever key you want. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on back to game. And now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that option then you're going to see a menu that looks like this. Now, what you want to do from here is you want to select on overlay and profile with sampler. Then you want to go ahead and select on profile TPS. And it is then going to do a countdown to 30 seconds. And basically, it is going to analyze all of the nearby blocks and entities that are near you. And it is going to let you know exactly which blocks and which entities are causing lag. And then from there, you can go ahead and remove those blocks or remove those entities. And then that should help you out significantly. So let's go ahead and wait for this timer to load in. All right, so once that process is finished, then things are going to look like this. So you'll notice that certain like mobs will have this value on top of them and it's sort of like a gradient. So green means that it does not cause lag. But if it goes all the way up to red, that means it does cause lag. So this one's kind of like an orange. So it's like so and so. Uh, it does cause some lag, but not too much. But this mob right over here is causing me a lot of lag. So yep, as you're able to tell, it actually does help you out very much. It's a really useful tool that the all the mods 10 mod offers. And another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and open up your chat. Then select on this link right over here and go ahead and press on yes. Then it is gonna give you a screen that looks like this and you just wanna go ahead and look around over here. If you see a value that's over like a thousand or like 2000 or something crazy like that, that's where you wanna go ahead and visit it and actually remove that entity or that block. Another thing that really matters whenever you're playing all the mods 10, especially when playing multiplayer, is the amount of RAM that you allocated to all the mods 10. So let's say for example, you have a Minecraft server and if you don't have that much RAM allocated to it or the server just wasn't built to carry such big mod packs, then that is gonna cause lag. And thanks to our partners over at Simple Game Hosting, there is a very good solution. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to create a modded realm. You can upload mod packs such as all the mods 10, Pixelmon, Kabamon, etc. Basically any mod pack you can think of, you can upload it onto Simple Game Hosting with the click of literally just one button. And on top of that, Simple Game Hosting is built for modded servers. So you're never going to experience lag or anything like that. And it's really made to be premium quality so that it is able to handle big mod packs such as this one. So it's really important that if you're hosting your server that you try to get a server hosting provider that specializes in modded servers. And that's where Simple Game Hosting comes in. So at the moment, they're actually doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pink comment. All right, so here I am in CurseForge, and this is what I'm actually using in order to run the All The Mods 10 server. So what you want to do from here is you want to go to the left menu and select on settings just like so. Then go ahead and select on Minecraft. And you just want to make sure that you keep on scrolling down. You want to make sure you have sufficient RAM allocated to uh, CurseForge because obviously you will need a significant amount of RAM in order to run this relatively big mod pack. So I have mines all the way at 8,000 megabytes. So you want to go ahead and set it to as high as possible. So I have eight gigabytes worth of RAM on my PC. So that's around 8,000 megabytes. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.